So does a weekly review just seem too confusing and difficult to accomplish on a weekly basis? It is the key to making your planning systems, your planner, your calendar, your lists work for you in the day to day. So we have got to figure it out. And today we are going to walk through the second step of a simple, quick weekly review that's going to get you in the driver's seat for your plans and your day. All too often we buy new planners, format new planning pages, start over again from scratch with our planning routines and systems and formats because we just can't seem to get it to work. The key to making those planning pieces work is actually just looking at them, using them, and populating them with your actual realistic plans rather than with wishful thinking. And all of that happens during your weekly review. Last time we talked about the first step for a simple, straightforward, quick and easy weekly review. And today we're going to talk about the second step. So first you have to review the previous week and brain dump, write things out about where you are actually at right now. That's step one. Today we're gonna dig into step two, which is looking at your calendar and planning based on what's actually on your calendar. I know, mind blowing. That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna make it quick and simple and easy for you to make an actionable, doable, realistic plan. Now, probably you are going to be able to do this second step of the weekly review in about the same amount of time as it's going to take me to explain it. Five minutes or less. Yet it's a piece of the planning process that we cannot skip. Looking at your calendar and planning based on what's on your calendar is essential to making a realistic doable plan. When you're looking at your calendar, you're looking at what time you actually have available, what obligations you have already committed to and need to make happen. And those you'll also see those pockets of time where you can actually accomplish things. Maybe your calendar shows you that you really don't have that much extra time. And so you can't plan extra projects or extra progress. Your week is just going to be about doing the things you've already committed to. And that's okay. That's why it's important to look at the calendar before we make our plans and while we are making our plans so that the plans aren't about writing out ideal dreams for the week, but rather writing out what we what actions we need to take to make those calendar events not stressful. What we need to do to be prepared for what's on our calendar. We want to make sure that we don't over plan and over commit ourselves. So just like when we did the review step where we looked back at our previous week and brain dumped. We're still going to brain dump again. As we look at the calendar, we're just going to add to that brain dump list what needs to happen based on what's on the calendar this week. As you look at what's on the calendar, your mind will start popping (laughs) with all the things that you need to do. Or maybe just the random things like, hey, I'm going to be running errands on Tuesday. That'd be a great time to return the library books. And so you put return library books on Tuesday or maybe even on Monday, gather the library books and put them in the car. You'll think through these actions that make sense and make the best use of your time based on where your time's already slotted out. As you brain dump while looking at your calendar, you will not only list out the tasks that need to be done to be prepared for the events, but you'll also note things like, don't expect to do anything but the basics 
on Wednesday or Thursday or whatever busy days you can see on your calendar. Maybe you'll even menu plan accordingly based on the time that you're going to and energy that you're going to have available on those different days. In addition to looking at the upcoming week and planning out what needs to happen this week, you will also want to step back and look at the coming month. Is there a birthday coming up that you really ought to place orders for so that they arrive on time? Things like that. What is, you know, looking forward, what's on the horizon that you need to start thinking about, brain dumping about, preparing for now? Your calendar is going to show that to you. And so looking at the calendar while we make a plan is a simple and straightforward and quick tip for making your, not only your weekly review work, but your entire to-do list for the week manageable and based on your actual needs rather than on wishful thinking. Your calendar really is your most important organizational tool. And so that means it's going to be a part of all your planning steps. If your calendar isn't reliable, then you might want to hop on over to simplyconvivial.com and search for calendar and find different articles on tips and strategies for making your calendar accurate and useful for planning and managing life. Now, you might be skeptical about your ability to pull off a weekly review or maybe any other consistent planning habit. And why are you skeptical? Because past experience demonstrates that sometimes planning has been a waste of time. Sometimes it really is, but it doesn't need to be. Real honest planning is better than flying by the seat of your pants. It might just be that you are the problem preventing your plan from working. We get in our own way and trip ourselves up and prevent real progress. Your plan can be engaging and helpful. It doesn't have to be a waste of time and it definitely does not have to be simply wishful thinking. Your plan can keep you at peace with your reality instead of stressed out about it. But for that to be true, it has to be realistic and you have to follow through on it. I know, bummer. But that's what I'm here for with the hard truths and you can find realistic and straight shooting help for managing your life and home at Simply Convivial Continuing Education, which provides self-paced but interactive training for Christian homemakers to manage themselves and their lives and their responsibilities with faithfulness and fruitfulness. And we would love to have you join us. Just head to simplyconvivial.com and click the green enroll button to learn about all that is available for you in Simply Convivial Continuing Education. Get that professional development that we need as moms at home. I'll see you there. And remember, repent, rejoice, repeat.